The song that we're going to learn is Cuckoo Words. If you're looking at the score, basically right hand is very simple. It just only has five notes, C, D, E, F, G. Most of the melody line is coming from C, D, E, F, G, so very simple. The left hand chord is the same, which we learned it from previous two lessons. Now, let's see how it goes playing an original chord. When you play first time, don't think about the staccatos, just focusing on the notes. Now let's go. This is three, four, one, ready, go. Rest. Rest. C, D, C chord. Two, three, left and G chord. But using this song, we will learn more left hand patterns. Now, first, if you're looking at the right hand, you will find a little dot below the note at the first measure, first two notes, right? That's what we call staccato. Staccato is you play a short, just like raindrop, like this, you just leave, or hopping sound. Now, the left hand is three count, so you have to keep holding. Right hand has to be up. See it? That's a little confusing at the beginning, but it will be okay. So one, two, rest. One, two, rest. the same chord we don't write it again and if chord changing it then write the chord names above the note so if there is no chord is written then you will just keep playing the same chord from the previous one so let's see how many C chord do we have you have to just play it keep playing C chord until you see next letter which is G this time let's play a faster tempo 120 is good tempo for this. Ready? One, two, three, one, ready, go. That's A plus. If not, that's fine. As, as long as you can play it in 100, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, then that's good enough. Now, the second. Right hand is exactly the same, but the second song is left hand has a different pattern. Instead of playing in C, left hand is a C, bottom note, and then E, G later. Step it down and then play it the last of two later. And the C chord coming back again. And then what if it's an F chord? C and F. But of course, there is no F chord in this music. We call that one warts. This left hand pattern is used often in warts music. That's what we call this is warts pattern. Now let's see how sounds different from the blocking the chord. One, two, go. So practice it. Maybe 
this one is a little confusing because you have to matching the beat and then also you have to think about right hand and left hand at the same time so if it doesn't come right away that's okay that's normal just keep practice now let's move it on to the third patterns on the left hand which is we call broken chord the pattern now we learned that in technique right C chord but you're breaking up that's how we do it here let's go slow ready one two Go. If you can play it in 100 or 112, then it should be fine. So practice a couple of times until you feel comfortable. And if one is harder than the other, then take it out that one only and practice a little more. Then it should be fine. How was it? Which pattern is easier for you? Is that first one the block the chord? Maybe definitely, since you, you don't play it that much. Or the second one, guard is padding, or breaking off chords. Which one is easier? It really depends on the people, it's different. So whichever is comfortable for you, that means you're good at it. Then you use the left hand patterns in other songs. If you have a hard time playing it, the other patterns, then practice that pattern a lot. Then you'll be okay. For this week, we have technique exercise. So practice technique exercise we have learned today every single day. If you're too busy and missed one day, then you have to do a little more on the following day. Because technique is just like gone. You can't save it. I wish I could save it too, but it's not. If you leave it there, it doesn't stay. If you don't come back again tomorrow, then it will be gone. That's what the technique is. That's what all the musicians are practicing every day for so many hours, even if they're good. So don't be frustrated. I still get frustrated too if I'm too busy and don't practice it, then my finger won't work. So I'm having the same trouble. So just try to find the time and practice as much as you can. And stay cool, and I will see you next week. Bye!